Two weeks ago, we asked you which experiment you would like us to discuss, and you chose the blue bottle experiment. This popular experiment has been done by many others, so we hope you like this one as well. Welcome to Cube Chemistry, where we will discuss all the elements of the periodic system and also do experiments. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Make also sure to fill in the poll so you can influence what experiment we will be doing next week. When I was doing some research for this experiment and I read about glucose, I immediately thought, hmm, glucose, that is almost the same as sucrose, right? It shows that I did not pay attention in school. So the immediate question was, if glucose and sucrose in my mind are almost the same, they should both work in this experiment, right? But if it did not work, then what is the difference between the two? And that is what we will be discussing today. Glucose and sucrose are both carbohydrates, but they have distinct structures and chemical properties that affect how they participate in chemical reactions. Now, what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are a type of food nutrition that give our body energy. They are made up of three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now let's go to these types. You have monosaccharides, simple sugars. You have disaccharides, basically double sugars, and you have polysaccharides, complex sugars or carbohydrates. Now monosaccharides, simple sugars, are the basic building blocks of carbohydrates consisting of a single sugar molecule. Examples of these are glucose, found in blood sugar, essential for energy, fructose, found in fruits and honey, or galactose, part of the lactose in milk. And then you have the disaccharides, double sugars, formed by a combination of two monosaccharides linked by a glycosidic bond. Now examples of these are sucrose, table sugar, which is basically glucose plus fructose, lactose, milk sugar, which is basically glucose plus galactose. And then you have maltose, malt sugar, which is basically glucose plus glucose. The last group of sugars are the polysaccharides, the complex sugars. Now these are long chains of monosaccharides linked together, used for energy storage and structural support. Now examples of these are starch, which is used for energy storage in plants found in potatoes, rice and wheat, glycogen, energy storage in animals stored in the liver and muscles, and cellulose, structural component of plant cell walls indigestible by humans, but important for dietary fiber. So as you can see, I was not only wrong with saying that there is two different types of sugar, there is multiple types of different sugar. And as you can see, table sugar, sucrose, and glucose are two totally different molecules. So what makes the difference? So like mentioned, glucose is a monosaccharide, a simple sugar consisting of a single molecule that cannot be broken down into smaller sugars. Meaning, it is a single sugar unit with the molecular formula like this. It contains an aldehyde group. Now what is that? It's a functional group consisting of a carbon atom double bonded to oxygen and single bonded to hydrogen, making it reactive in redox reaction. Now the blue bottle experiment is a redox reaction, so this should give a hint. In its open chain form, making it a reducing sugar, a sugar that can donate electrons to another substance in a redox reaction. Now this means that it can donate electrons, transfer negatively charged particles to another molecule, reducing it in a process, to other substances in oxidation reduction reactions. Because of its ability to act as a reduction agent, a substance that causes another substance to gain electrons and undergo reduction, glucose plays an important role in many biological and chemical processes, including energy production in cells and various laboratory reactions. Now sucrose, on the other hand, is a disaccharide, a carbohydrate made of two monosaccharides linked together, composed of one glucose and one fructose molecule joined by a glycosidic bond. Now that is a type of covalent bond that connects sugar molecules, preventing them from acting as a reducing agent. And this is his molecular formula. Now, unlike glucose, sucrose does not have a free aldehyde or ketone group, meaning it lacks the necessary structure to participate in redox reactions, which makes it a non-reducing sugar, a sugar that does not donate electrons and cannot directly take part in oxidation reduction reactions. This structural difference prevents sucrose from directly participating in redox reactions, 
unless it is first broken down into component sugars. So let's put it to the test. If above is right, glucose will work and sucrose will not work. Now the blue bottle experiment is a well-known redox reaction, a chemical reaction where the oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously involving the transfer of electrons. It demonstrates reversible oxidation and reduction using methylene blue, a dye that changes color based on its oxidation state. An alkaline solution, a liquid solution with a pH greater than 7, often containing a base like sodium hydroxide and reducing sugar such as glucose. Now, when the solution is shaken, oxygen is introduced causing the oxidation, the loss of electrons by a substance, often accompanied by a color change of methylene blue, turning the solution blue. Now, when left undisturbed, the reducing sugar, a sugar capable of donating electrons to another substance, donates electrons to the methylene blue, causing its reduction. The gain of electrons by a substance often leading to a color change back to its colorless state. Now, since glucose is a reducing sugar, it readily participates in this reaction. After shaking, the solution turns blue due to oxidation, but as the glucose reduces, the methylene blue, now supply electrons to another molecule reversing oxidation, the solution eventually becomes colorless again. This cycle can be repeated multiple times by introducing more oxygens through shaking. So we decided to do the same with sucrose. However, sucrose does not behave in the same way because it is a non-reducing sugar. It cannot donate electrons. It lacks free aldehyde or ketone group that would have allowed the transfer of electrons. And therefore, it cannot reduce methylene blue back to its colorless form. Now, as a result, you can see here that if we use sucrose instead of glucose, the reaction would not proceed as expected. And the solution would remain blue after the initial oxidation. However, if the sucrose were first broken down, hydrolyzed, uh, chemically split into smaller molecules by reacting with water, into glucose and fructose using acid or an enzyme like Invertase, an enzyme that catalyzes the breakdown of sucrose into glucose and fructose, then the reaction would take place because glucose would be available as a reducing agent. Now while making this video I realized that that is maybe an experiment that we should try in the future to see if it actually works. So here we see it. The difference between glucose and sucrose in terms of their reducing properties, their ability or inability to donate electrons in the redox reaction, significantly affects the behavior in the blue bottle experiment. While glucose actively participates, directly engages in the redox cycle, donating electrons, sucrose alone does not react in the same way due to its lack of free aldehyde or ketone group, a missing structural feature that prevents it from acting as a reducing sugar. This demonstrates how small structural differences in sugar can lead to dramatically different chemical behaviors. Now, as you can maybe tell, we tried something different this time with the experiments, and I hope you enjoyed it. We tried to do the simple experiment that everybody did before and turned it into a lecture about how sugars work. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and so please leave feedback in the comments if you, uh, if you enjoyed this. We are planning to do an experiment next week again, uh, and we're probably going to do a very similar setup. So, by all means, if you like this, Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.